Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to create a cutout between two components. So this is the first component and the second component is directly in my session and for example the name is Revolve. So you can see here that is something uh, what was created before and based on this shape I'd like to make a cut in the first component. The easiest way is if you will directly do it in the assembly, so place the first component and then directly select and apply placement for the another components. Now I don't want to focus on the placement, so I will move it only here, for example, and maybe outside a little bit. And we would like to perform a cut. So we will fix this component, confirm OK. And now we will use the standard functionality. It's a component operation and boolean operation. As you can see, I don't want to use the merge, but cut. And now you are necessary to select modified models. This model will be modified and which component will be used for the cut? This one. Simple and easy, confirm OK and confirm done. If I will open the source model, the cut is created. And as you can see here, uh, that whole shape is copied to this model. but I don't think so that you would like to see also this hole here, what was there. Yeah. So what do we need to do? Simple. Maybe we are able, I'd like to show you that if you will suppress these two component features, the system will hide it here. And also in the assembly, if I will regenerate assembly and open the model, the hole will be not there. But again, if I will show the feature, the system will show me the all geometry here. So this is result what we would like to get. But as we can see that with the cutout, it's not working. So question from you is how you can deal with. No problem. We can directly delete the cutout here and we will start almost from scratch. Yeah. So over here, I'd like to show you that if you have a shape, what you would like to make a copy from one model to another one. So for example, this is the shape. Simple. I have been able to move a dragger and the system suppress me for a while the necessary features. So we are able to select the surface, right mouse button and in right mouse button over here directly is the select body surfaces. The system will select every surfaces from the component and you can control C and control V, copy and paste and you have a geometry. If you will move it, the hole is there. I can hide for a while this copy geometry. Yeah, so the shape and final result is as we need, but this geometry we need to copy. So please do not hide, leave it as this and go back to the assembly. In the assembly mode, we will activate first model with this icon, activate, and we will use the quilt selection from the filter menu. And I will select this quilt, what was created as the copy one. Now the system allow to you make a copy and paste and the system, if you confirm OK, the system will make a copy to first model. So simply only open the geometry is here. And now we will perform and use the function solidify. So select the copy feature solidify and we will remove material and confirm OK. So you see here that now the geometry and result is as we need. If you would like to make the independent copy geometry, simple only select these two last features and use collapse and confirm OK. Now, if you will change the source data, the system will always do not change this and make the modification because you see that is the incremental geometry is independent copy. But sometimes you are not able to make this modification. So I will jump here over here. And for example, you are not able to move the mouse and then your shape is as you need. So for example, we have to deal with the shape as it is created. And for example, we are able to make some different uh, logic. And I, I'll try to combine these two functionality. So I will copy, make the copy of the Boolean's operation and also here I will try to select a couple of surfaces. Let's try. So 
If you are not able to manipulate with the features, for example, it's an imported geometry, my suggestion is select surface and then with the shift button, well, select the planar surface where you would like to make the copy. So do you see that system will select the seed and boundaries and all geometry from inside is selected automatically. Doesn't matter if it be two surfaces or 55, the system select everything. So for example, over there will be the swept blend and over there will be screw. So system will automatically select everything. How would you select it one more time? Select the surfaces from inside and then with shift button select the planar surface and system will select everything. And again, simply copy and paste, control C, control V and middle button. And what we need to do is to close this hole because in the future I'd like to use the solidify and has to be closed. Best and easy way is that, for example, you will use the fill functionality and select sketch plane and directly make a circle because it's a really easy shape here or use the projection as it, it's up to you. If you will come from OK, now you have two separate surfaces. So if you will select the geometry and quilt, you are able to select the first quilt and the second uh, fill and use the merge functionality. In right mouse button, you would like to join these two features and confirm OK. If you would like to learn more about the merge, please check previous tutorials. This merge feature we will copy again into next model. So let's try to use now the booleans operation as in just the first example. So we will jump into assembly. Now you see that original model is as is this, not modification and we will use simple booleans operation. So let's start component operation, booleans operation, not merge, but cut. We will select the first component and second one. Simple and easy, come from OK. And I will only open, I'd like to show you. It still is it is as it is. And this surface is what are here. We need to cut out by solidify. But best practice is again, select and activate. I like to use the function to quilt. I will make the merge or we can select directly the quilt from them here. Yeah. And control C, control V. So the system will select information from the revolve model and copy to W. If I will finalize and we are able directly use the functionality solidify and we know that we would like to remove material. So if we will come from OK, we can jump directly here and the, this feature you can hide and all geometry will be as you have planned. So it doesn't matter as it is changed and everything works fine. So it was example how to reuse booleans operations and solidify feature and some technique with the surface modeling. Thank you for the question and stay tuned. Bye bye. Vladimir.